Let's make a felt keyring. To start, get your stencil, I've got mine, and you'll need to cut this out. You'll need two bottom parts and two top parts. I'm going to show you how we're going to layer this on top of each other, so the two bottom parts go between the two top parts like this. We're going to start with the bottom of the cupcake and I've just with a pencil put in some lines to mark where the cupcake holder creases and with my needle and thread I'm just doing a nice little stitch to have some texture on the bottom part of the cupcake. You can do this however you want and get really creative. I'm just doing this pattern as it shows the creases of the cupcake, um, the cupcake holder, but you can do a nice crisscross pattern to give your cupcake holder a bit more texture. I've added my first line in and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my cupcake exactly the same. Some lines will be longer, some lines will be shorter. This is just to make it look a bit more realistic and a bit more like a cupcake would. When you finish that, it will look something like this. And at this point, we're going to get the other half of the cupcake and sew the sides together. So we're going to sew around the edges and leave the top part empty. This is when we will put our filling in. For now, I'm going to put the sides together and stitch them together like this. And I'm going to continue doing that until I reach the other side of my cupcake. I finished stitching my sides together, so I'm going to put in my filling. Everything that I'm using in this tutorial, I have linked in my description. Make sure you don't use too much stuffing or too little stuffing. You want your cupcake to be nicely filled. I'm happy with how much I've put in there, so I'm going to sew the top of the cupcake shut. I'm going to use the exact same stitching pattern that I used for the edges. Now that's done and I'm going to put this to one side. Now let's work on the top of our cupcake, so I only want to work on one side. With my pencil, I'm just going to put some little swirls in. You can do any pattern you want, I just thought swirls looked nice. After you draw your pattern on, get your needle and thread and stitch the pattern in. It would be nice if you want your stitching to stand out, you can use a different colour. I've just gone for a white thread here. I've got one more swirl to do, which I'm doing now. When I finish this bit, I'm going to add in some seed beads. I thought it'd be lovely to add some texture in, so let's bring our seed beads in. I have gone for a variety of orange, green and yellow seed beads and I'm just going to, in a random order, put these in my cupcake. The seed beads are quite easy to sew in, just watch how I'm doing it and you can copy it the same way. Adding seed beads is optional, if you want you can leave your cupcake plain or sew some patterns in instead. So I'm happy with how many seed beads I've put in here and what we're going to do is get the other side of the top of our cupcake and sew them together on the edges. I'm going to make a start from here and make sure you don't stitch the long side together because when we get to the end what we're going to do is add some stuffing into the top of our cupcake.
I've finished sewing my sides together, so let's get the stuffing and add it into our cupcake filling. I'm using my pencil to help me get into all the edges. Now we're just going to get the bottom of our cupcake and put that in between the top of our cupcake like so. And now we're going to sew it together. We're going to pass our needle through one side to the other and bring it back. I'm trying to keep my stitching in line with my edge so it looks nice and neat. Now that I'm at the edge of my cupcake, I'm going to put a knot in here to make sure it's all secured in place. Our cupcake is now finished, so let's go ahead and add the keychain part. All I've done here is taken this little tab of felt sheet and I'm going to put it through my keychain like this. I'm going to get my hot glue gun and seal these two together. Then I'm going to get more hot glue and just stick that on my cupcake on the back of it. I want to add a little pom-pom in, so I'm going to hot glue a pom-pom on as well. This is our cupcake now finished and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've also got an ice cream tutorial on my channel so please do go check that out. Give this video a like and leave a comment if you want more of these tutorials. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time!